Who else? Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This weekend, we gather to celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter, Good Shepherd Sunday, because the readings are about the care we receive from Christ, our Shepherd. We gather to offer our prayers. We pray for those who are sick, for God's healing grace in their lives, for those who have died for eternal rest, and for all of us, may God bless and protect us at this time. This month, in May, we ask for special interse intercession of our Heavenly Mother, Mary. As we begin this Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. 
through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to our share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you've crucified. 
Now when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day were added about 3,000 souls. The Word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that, free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The Word of the Lord. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, 
but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who, ca who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come, come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the fourth Sunday of Easter is often called Good Shepherd Sunday because this is the gospel we hear this weekend, the good news that Jesus is the Good Shepherd who loves his sheep. It is a day of prayer for the shepherds of the church and also a special day of prayer for vocations. Jesus uses the analogy of a shepherd protecting his people as opposed to the hired man who will run away in the time of danger. Jesus says that he is the good shepherd who will not run away to save his life, but to lay his, his life down for the sake of his flock. In the Gospel today, we hear this promise, the promise of hope. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life. In our lives, we always recognize the voice of those we love, especially the voice of our parents. And today, once again, we, we are hearing Jesus' voice who tells us that he cares for each one of us in a very special way. Jesus says that he is the good shepherd. His sheep know his voice. We are his sheep. We know his voice. We know if something we hear is coming from him or from another source. And in the first reading, we heard what it means to listen to the right voice. Those who heard the good news proclaimed by Peter followed Jesus, and that day were added about 3,000 souls. My friends, we are called to follow the Lord, our shepherd, because only he knows the way to heaven. In the second part of the Gospel today, Jesus says that he not only is the Good Shepherd, he is also the gate. He is our protection against thieves who would steal and destroy our souls. He is for us to guide us along that way that leads us to God, his Father. It is also good to remember that the road that takes us to heaven begins here and now. The road begins in our daily lives, in our work, our homes, and other places we find ourselves. So the challenge of today's Gospel is to ask ourselves if we are listening to the voice of the Good Shepherd in our lives. In our daily lives, we are trying to answer yes. We are, tr we are trying to listen to Jesus and to follow in his footsteps. This weekend, we ask for the grace to listen 
to his voice. May he guide us and lead us in the way of service to other people, especially at this time of struggle, so that people in any kind of need can receive help and a message of hope coming to them through our lives and also through our generous service and action. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now offer our prayers to the Lord. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Smith, and all clergy sent by God to shepherd his flock, May they always know their sheep and continue to bring other sheep into the fold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all students continuing their education at home, and for the parents and teachers who are helping them, may they find a way to learn that benefits and strengthens them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are discerning a vocation to the priesthood, diaconate, or consecrated life, may they find guidance in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work in hospitals and nursing homes, May they be kept safe from every danger so that they can continue taking care of those who need it. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those families who are unable to be with their loved ones at the final moments of life, may they have God's grace to strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may we find abundant life in Jesus Christ and the strength of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially 
Beth Lindsay Schonsberg, Renee Garcia, and Helen Canock. May they find abundant and everlasting life in Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you care for us like a shepherd cares for the sheep. Hear the prayers we offer you today and grant us your help and your blessing. We ask this grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the whole world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Today we are invited to follow the voice of our Good Shepherd and as we follow this voice throughout this coming week, we ask for his blessing. Once again, huge thank you to our choir and to all of you who will be joining us online to 
who celebrate this Mass with us. And now may the Lord bless us all, our families, for this coming week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.